Oh, hello. Guten Morgen. Uh, welcome to One Take Tuesday. So, I'm just gonna flat out say it. So sorry that I missed last week's One Take Tuesday. Uh, I was in Germany, so that was a thing, and I couldn't really, uh, we, were, we were so busy every single day that I couldn't really find time to make a cutesy little video. Although I really wanted to, like, walk the streets of Wittenberg or Leipzig and, um, and like, record a cutesy cover of uh, Danke Schön, which is an old, old song. I think Wayne Newton sang it. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I was in Germany last week, <laughs> and so... Uh, sorry that I missed my video, but uh, I wanted to do I want to take Tuesday now about traveling. I want to talk about traveling. Uh, currently, I am walking back from class. I'm taking the long way so I can do a walkie-talkie video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so thought I would do it for a one take Tuesday. Uh, and yeah, so I want to talk about traveling and how cool it is because. I feel like I, I have I've never really like been out of the country before until this past January and since then I you know since then I've been to Germany and hopefully I'm doing my student teaching next semester um, overseas too and so I don't know like I'm just taking a lot of like exploratory risks if you will and I don't know taking a lot of chances and like doing things totally outside my comfort zone oh I'm gonna flip or do over here um so yeah so I just wanted to talk about how cool traveling is so as you guys may or may not know uh, I'm a very like feelingsy based person and so I feel a lot of feelings on the on the daily basis and some of them are not good because uh, that's just my chance like if you're a very feelingsy person you're gonna feel all the feelings sorry you can't filter out just the good ones but that's a thing and so when I'm on this campus this campus of the college that I go to um, I very easily feel a lot of the icky feelings because this campus is so small and it gets really depressing and like the people are good but it's hard for me to stay connected with them and to feel really like to feel like there's something more than just this small college campus and I think I'm just a very like person that needs to do a lot of things and I get really sick of routine and god I hate routine <laughs> I really do I, I never eat the same thing for breakfast two days in a row and I never I don't know I, I, I never have the same schedule every day and I love that um, and I can't really sit still for too long either like I can't just spend all day watching Netflix like I'm, I'm just not that kind of person so all that being said I promise I have a good point to this uh, so I'm a very feelingsy person, and typically when I'm on this campus, I feel very like, like very like, blah, there's nothing else besides this campus, and it sucks. And in the past, I've, it's actually like pushed me into real deep ruts, and like, it's got me thinking like, oh, well, what's the point of anything? Because it's like, I'm just going to be stuck here forever. But wrong, I won't be stuck here forever, because I've been traveling a lot lately, and that's really helped me stay happy and stay like my true self and st like not, not my true self but like my fullest self because it's made me realize that it's one thing to go to a big city outside my college campus and be like oh wow wow there's there's these cool things outside this college who knew but it's another thing to travel over the sea in an eight hour plane ride and go to a new country where everything is brand spanking new and everything is different and unique and cool and so I don't know, I, maybe this can help, so there's traffic. maybe this can help some of my YouTube viewers who are very feelingsy based also and who, who tend to get stuck in ruts whenever you feel like you've been in one place for too long and then you get kind of like depressed. And so, I don't know, I'm just saying traveling has really helped me just, I don't know, feel fuller about my life. Um, and uh, I guess I should have explained this earlier, but I went on this trip to Germany um, with choir, with um, university choir that we have here at college. And um, and I'm a very individual kind of person. I'm a very independent person. And so um, being with one group of people for like a week straight and not having any breaks from them, like 
going into it, I was like, oh, here we go. All right, let's uh, mentally prepare for getting sick of every bloody person on this bus. But it turns out I really like being in a group of people because it gives me more perspective on myself and it, it helps me like, I don't know, not feel so, uh, it feels like I fit in somewhere. Even if most of the people don't really get me, like we're still friends and we still socialize and we still hang out and they accept me as a person. <laughs> dog scared me so much. I'm just vlogging. It's fine. It's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> that dog scared the living pee out of me. There's pee in my pants right now. Just kidding. There's no pee in my pants. That, that was gross. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, I don't know. If you ever get a chance to travel, like, please do. Because... It's helped me so much, and I want to help you too. Um, what was I talking about before? This video is very scattered, and that's mostly because I'm just really excited to talk about this. <laughs> and so, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, 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 um. Oh, I'm a very like independent person, and typically I don't like being in groups. But like, I don't know. I, I this is something I'm learning about myself recently. Um, this past summer, I worked at a summer camp, and I was on staff with like, I don't know, like 12 people, I forget how many, like 10 or 11, I don't remember. It was about roughly a dozen people and I thought I would hate it because I'd get so sick of them or whatever and having to hang out with them every single week. But it turns out I really like being in groups and I've never really known that about myself. And so, I don't know, I, I just like it. <laughs> Um, cause it gives me a new perspective on where I fit in, in a, in a dynamic of people. So I don't know, it's a new thing that I'm, I'm learning. And so just being in Germany with the same 35, 36 people who are like, who love to sing and who, who get really obnoxious on the bus and they sing happy birthday to random people. And like, we're just really obnoxious Americans, but like, I really liked it. Like I really liked being around that many weird people in one place and made me feel really good. And yeah, I got sick of them, but like, it's all right. <laughs> I gave myself some introvert time and then, you know, moved on and got back in the swing of things and rode the bus and had a grand time. And so, I don't know, I, I it was just a really good experience for me. And like, obviously I tried a lot of like German things. I tried currywurst. I miss currywurst so much. I woke up yesterday morning and I was like, mm, currywurst. And I couldn't have it, and it was so sad. Um, if you don't know what currywurst is, it's like bratwurst, which is like sausage. And it's dipped in like this like curry, kind of barbecue-y sauce. And it's served with chips, which are fries. And, um, and it's like the bomb.com. And I don't eat a lot of meat, but oh man, currywurst does something to your soul. It just, it just fills a hole in your soul that you didn't know was there. And then um, I had so much gelato. I had gelato every single day. And it was, oh, it was so good. <laughs> it was so creamy and delicious. And it was only one euro, which is equivalent of like one dollar, which is amazing. Because I don't know if y'all live in America, but it's like four to five dollars for a bowl of gelato here, and it sucks. So I had gelato a lot. And uh, we visited Berlin and Leipzig and Wittenberg and Frankfurt. What an experience. <laughs> My Instagram pics are off the chain, but uh, obviously I set that to private um, because I don't know, that's just my private life. So sorry to all of you who have been like requesting to follow me on Instagram and I keep saying decline, decline, because I don't know you, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but I appreciate that you like want to get in my life and know what I'm doing outside of the YouTube world, but, but anyway. So I've talked for like nine and a half minutes and I don't even remember what I said, but I'm just really excited and I hope that like you have a chance to travel, even if it's just like to another state or like to a neighboring country, like you don't have to go overseas, even though that would be amazing, but just like going outside of your home bubble and going outside of the 
the place that you all that you spend all your time in it really helps just to give you a fresh perspective on the world and on yourself and like I don't know it makes me personally feel less depressed and less stuck so hopefully that does the same to you um, comment below like places you've traveled or places you want to travel and we can have a, we can have a chat about it and it'll be fun so yeah this has been my one take Tuesday I'm not really the best at talking still but I'm working on it okay so hope you have a good rest of your day go go do some go do some different things today go, go have something else for breakfast I don't know. Have some have some have some good times. All right. <laughs> Bye. See you next Tuesday, y'all. I won't skip it again. I apologize. <laughs>